Hey folks, welcome to Lazy Tech TV and a really quick OBS tutorial utilizing OBS with Stream Deck. And if you wanna be able to make a video pop up with just a click of a button, here's how you do it. Now, this next video actually is quite unprofessional if I do say so myself, but I originally made it for a friend because I do things like that and I'm friendly sometimes. But I hope you find use for it. And if you do, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, do all the things, share it with your other friends, and um, let me know what it's like to have other friends. Hey, Zach. Uh, I'm a little washed out here because this is a HDR screen, and for some reason, it makes me washed out when I record this way. Anyways, I don't know if you've figured out how to do the thing that we had talked about last night, but if you haven't, let me walk you through how I would do it. So I've got OBS here and over to my right, I have the Stream Deck software. We're good there. And for the purposes of this video, I found a vertical video and we'll pretend that's the video that you wanna insert. So this would represent, this right here in OBS would represent the scene that you wanna be able to show these videos at a click of a button. So to do that, you go into sources and then you add new media source. We'll just call this one uh, TT video. Then we go and find that video. Now I think for some reason it's stored in videos, which I know makes sense because that is a video, but it's not really where I generally store my saved TikToks. So perfect located file loop. We do not want it to loop. Restart playback when source becomes active. That is a very important button that you have clicked. So if you see the click, just leave it. Use hardware decoding when available. You wanna allow for that if you had a GPU, since you don't, you don't need to do that. And then show nothing when playback ends. Keep the speed the same at 100% and all this other stuff, color range, FF, uh, MPEG, you don't need to touch. And now you're done. And there we go. Um, if it's a little bit too big, you can of course, Re, uh, resize it. We will put that right here. Cool. And now we're going to hide this. Now, I do know that this video is approximately 24 seconds long. So why is that important? Well, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go into Stream Deck. Now, I'm not gonna fuss around with my Stream Deck buttons, but I do have an open slot right here. So what we will do is create a multi-action. That's where you wanna start. You wanna create a multi-action, and then you're gonna go on the right-hand side and look for all the OBS functions that you have that are built in. So what you wanna do is go to Source Visibility, because again, we hit it by clicking on the little eye icon. So we go to Source Visibility, and this is currently in what I call the test area. And the source, remember we called it the TT video and we wanna show it. And then we want to go back up to Stream Deck and add a delay. And this delay is going to be, the video is 24 seconds. We'll make the delay 25 seconds. And these are all in milliseconds. So that's gonna be 25 thousand I think I think the, I think it's 25,000 and we'll go back down to the OBS section and go back to source visibility uh, we will find the scene once again source the TT video and we're going to hide it and we're virtually done here and now you can go here and right click and create a new icon you can you can call this whatever you want it or for this purpose, we'll call it TT. And now we're gonna test it. I haven't tested this. I just woke up. I don't know if this works or not. We're both gonna find out. Let's press the button. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I don't think you can hear that because it's not coming through um, this, but you, you can see right here under TT video that something is happening. So when, when you're streaming on you know, your, 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 your streaming service, it'll, it'll audible, be audible. Uh, but then it disappeared. It went away. Awesome. Now, again, remember the thing I told you last time, 
if you didn't do it correctly and you press the button again, nothing would happen because you already played the video and it didn't auto rewind itself or auto restart itself to the beginning. So let's press the button once again and see if it works. It works. That's it. It's very, very simple. Now you will have to do this for every single different video that you want to do that for. If that's how you speak English, for every video, you'll have to do this, but it's very simple. And um, I, I'm sure there's an easier way, but this is the easiest way that I know. So hope that helps, man. Love you. Bye-bye.